Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, today we are out here at Lake Wilhelm, um, Goddard State Park. Uh, that's both, I guess. Um, so we're going to be doing a hike on the McKeever Trail today, which I'm at the uh, middle part of it. We're not starting at the beginning this time. Um, but uh, this is a portion that I've never been on before. I've been on the other portions uh, previous times, but... Uh, never this portion of it, so it should be a pretty good hike. I think this is the one that goes up a mountain, so it should be pretty challenging. But before we get started today, uh, if you are new to the channel, I am Mikey G, and I want to encourage you uh, to click the subscribe button down below uh, if you enjoy hiking and adventure videos, and uh, you can come along with me and join me on all of my adventures. So anyway, with that said, uh, let's uh, hit the trail. Get on with this hike. Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, as I said, Today we are in um, Goddard State Park. Uh, this is the portion of the McKeever Trail. There is two different trails, two separate trails that run uh, around this park. If you're familiar with it, you probably already know. Um, there's the main uh, Goddard uh, Lake Wilhelm Trail, is what it's called. And then there's this uh, McKeever Trail, which I'm on right now. And this one actually goes up into the woods. It's not necessarily a, a bike trail. I mean, it could be like a rugged mountain bike trail, but um, you can see behind me there that the uh, trail is pretty rugged. So I don't know if I'd want to be riding a bicycle on this, but for those hardcore mountain bikers, I guess it'd be all right. So we're going to take a little hike up this rugged trail here. Um, as I said, I think it goes up the side of a mountain because it looks pretty hilly. Like that up there is a gigantic hill. So, trail weaves and everything up that side of that hill. So, anyway, um, we're going to keep on going. And uh, as I said, this is the first time that I've been on this trail, so don't really know what to expect. But we're going to explore it together, and uh, hopefully we can see some good stuff. So anyway, let's keep on going, see what we find. So I did a little bit of looking online um, at this trail, and it looks like it has a few hundred feet of elevation change. So, which would mean that it is going up the side of the hill. So, hopefully when we get up there, um, we might have some good views of the lake. So, the lake is currently uh, on my right side, so I don't know. This is a pretty rugged path, though. <laughs> Look at that. Pretty crazy. Um, as I've said... To many other people that like to do hiking, um, when you do trails like these, you got to be careful, uh, especially with all these roots and rocks and that right there. It's actually a tree across the trail. You don't want to trip and fall, so you definitely want to be careful and uh, watch your step for sure. Last thing you need is a sprained ankle. Uh, out in the middle of the woods where nobody can find you. So, anybody out there hiking, be careful. And there are also sort, certain spots, kind of like this, um, where the trail looks just like the landscape around it. Just a little worn path right up through the trail there. So, kind of got to pay attention to that too. Can get lost very easy in these woods. 
And uh, that's another thing you don't need. You don't want to get lost. Also something else um, that I've heard somebody mention in a different video uh, about walking in the woods and hiking like this. Um, another thing you want to be aware of that I never really thought before. Um, you want to watch out for widow makers. Um, if you don't know what a widow maker is, um, it's actually a loose branch falling out of a tree. And uh, if they're big enough, they can actually land right on your head and uh, knock you out or severely hurt you. Um, so you always want to make sure you keep your ears peeled and keep an eye out to listen for you know, falling branches and uh, sometimes squirrels, they run around up in the trees there and um, they knock branches loose and they just fall down. Uh, I almost had an encounter one time with a widow maker. Uh, it was probably about a two or three inch branch when I was hiking on a different trail a while back, uh, came down, you know, got knocked loose for whatever reason, and it came down and almost took me out. Landed probably three, four feet in front of me. So if I'd been walking a little bit faster, I might have got whacked right in the head. So uh, just make sure you look out for those if you're out here in the deep woods hiking too. You don't want to be the victim of one of them be a bad day for you. So I was walking through the woods here and I came upon this kind of uh, unique rock structure here. Um, I'm not sure what it is or what it used to be. Uh, I don't think it was a, a building or anything like that. But you can see that it goes from right here all the way along kind of goes up in there a little bit uh, there's a fallen tree over here on this side but uh, I don't know if there was like a waterway that came through here uh, way back in the day the only reason I say there might be might have been a waterfall here maybe or something like that um, you can see there's a bunch of moss all over it but these rocks you can see how they're kind of worn smooth you know as if there had been water flowing over them for a long period of time you know I don't really know so there could have been a waterfall or a uh, stream that ran through here and fell over here and went down this way because the lakes down that side and it could have flowed right through here, down over the next hill, you know, into the lake. Maybe at some point. I don't know, just a thought. Um, if anybody else has any ideas about that, uh, leave it in the comments below. But, uh, I don't know, kind of interesting. It's just strange seeing this kind of rock formation out here just in the middle of the woods. So as we come across this bridge, uh, it actually bridges a, what would be a, a roaring creek that would run down through here. As you can see, it's dry. The other side would definitely have some roaring water down through it. You can see how it's, you know, cut really deep down in there, which means at one time there was a lot of water down in there. But today, not so much. We've been lacking some rain, so it's definitely dry. So I made it down here uh, to a part of the trail here where it looks like this was a dried up, this is a dried up lake bed or creek bed. You can see that it's kind of reduced down to that little bit of water right there. There's a little bit of water over here on the other side. Um, 
been reduced down to that, but you can see how it used to go way over there. And it's actually dug through the hillside up in there. So it must have been a whole lot of water just rushing through this area. Can't imagine what that must have been like. So they did have a have to put a drain pipe in over there to uh, take care of the water. But now, like I said, it's just reduced down to a little creek like that. So, yeah, pretty cool. Just a lot of rocks and stuff everywhere. Some fallen trees over there. But yeah, it's kind of weird to think how much water might have been rushing through here at one point. Sure must have been a lot. So yeah, pretty neat. And of course, to cross over this uh, little creek right here, I see they gave me a nice fancy bridge here. Yeah, step on that wrong, you're going to sprain your ankle. So we better be careful. So here's another obstacle you want to look for. First one was the Widowmakers. Second is a big log blocking the trail. You always want to keep your eye out for that. So now we have to either go over or under and uh, make our way around it. So now I'm at the point in the trail where we're starting to zigzag up the hill. Um, I don't know if the camera picks that up, but that is a steep hill down that way. This is a steep hill up that way. So I'm on the trail here, just kind of zigzagging. Um, we'll eventually end up way up there once we get done zigzagging. So this is going to be a leg killer for sure. Because, uh, like I said, this is a rugged trail. So. It's kind of turned into like a deer trail sort of thing. So let's uh, get up to the top and I think there's like a, a uh, shelter or something up there where we can stop, maybe get a drink of water before we continue on. So anyway, let's uh, make our way up to the top, hopefully get to that shelter. Just as I thought. There is a shelter at the top. We make our way up there and I'm gonna stop and get a little drink of water, maybe rest a little bit, and uh, then we'll continue on the trail. making my way back down the other side of this big mountain the one that I went up earlier and it sounds like I don't know if you can hear it in the background but we are getting close to the dam that's down here uh, at the south end of Lake Wilhelm and I can hear the water rushing so I think it kind of weaves down and crosses the road and ends up at the dam so we're gonna keep on going and uh, see if that is where it ends up because I think it might but I'm not sure so anyway let's keep on going yep looks like I was right uh, the trail comes out goes down here that is the main road the dam is over there so we're gonna walk down the trail here and uh, go over and take a look at the dam and then uh, be time to make my way back so let's head over there All right guys, so we did make it down here to the dam. So unfortunately, that's the end of the trail. And uh, so that's gonna wrap up this video. If 
you did like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, uh, be sure to click that subscribe button down below and click the bell uh, so you get notified every time I upload a video. And uh, with that said, I'll see you on the next one, guys.